everyone. We are live from the Ritz-Carlton Hotel in downtown Charlotte, North Carolina, where ACC Basketball Media Day has just wrapped up. The Virginia Cavaliers tip off the season two weeks from Friday, playing at UNC Greensboro. The Cavaliers are ranked seventh in the country in the preseason coaches poll. Uh, the the team has lots of talent, but will look much different this year without guys like Malcolm Brogdon, Anthony Gill, and Mike Toby. We're a pretty deep team this year. Uh, I mean, it'll definitely, it'll definitely be tough for Coach Ben to find some minutes for everybody. But I mean, we're going to have to find that rotation and stick with it. And, uh, but we, we, we're getting better every day. We have a lot of, a lot of pieces, and um, I feel like we, we, we have definitely have a different team, but we have a, a skilled team as well. I don't think we'll do anything differently. Um, you know, we'll still play the same defense that we've playing. But um, you know, if something does break down, we know that we have him and Jay Huff and. Mamadi Diakite to, to, to kind of send some shots away and clean up some messes um, like we had my freshman year. It's their time. I think there's an eagerness or an excitement for the opportunity for guys like Devin Hall, Darius Thompson, Marielle. I think they're really excited for the opportunity um, to have it be their team and have a bigger role. They're part of the team in the years past. So I think there's excitement with that. The rest of the guys, quite honestly, are all newcomers. Media's preseason predictions have been released. Virginia is picked to finish third this season in the ACC. Duke was picked to win the league. Duke's Grayson Allen is picked as the ACC preseason player of the year. North Carolina was picked to finish second in the conference. Of course, North Carolina is coming off that last second heartbreaking loss to Villanova in last year's national championship game. I think most of the kids did use that as fuel throughout the course of the entire summer. And I kept telling him every time I see him, are you working hard? You know, is, are you doing what you want to do? Are you going to have any regrets? This group has never been picked number one, but our school has, our program has. Before they ever see it, like we're, you know, uh, it's like uh, internet dating or something. Uh, uh, you know, you, until you see the real person, you know, we can create a big, nice picture. Yeah. You never know. Now, as for Virginia Tech, the Hokies returned their top four scorers from last year's team, which won 10 ACC games, matching a school record. Now, Tech uh, missed the NCAA tournament last year for the ninth straight year, but the Hokies did get some postseason experience last season playing in the NIT. Whenever you got a group of guys that's played together, and then they go through a a postseason and then they get to come back and have that same core, like you said, is always good because um, one, you don't have to get out those, those first couple game wiggles, you know, and you also have that chemistry that just carries over. The Hokies kick off the season two weeks from Friday, playing host to Maine. Getting back to Virginia, former Wahoo Malcolm Brogdon makes his NBA debut tonight with the Milwaukee Bucks. The Bucks play host to the Charlotte Hornets, uh, and Brogdon expected to play, get some playing time this season. He's expected to be Milwaukee's backup point guard right from the season opener. That is all from here in Charlotte. We'll have much more for you tonight at 11. NBC 29 News at 6 continues after this. Good evening, everyone. Happy Thanksgiving. We're two days away from Turkey Day, and the seventh-ranked UVA men's basketball team is set to wrap up its three-game homestand here tonight, hosting Grambling. Grambling, located in northeast Louisiana, has a record of one and two, with both losses coming on the road this season to Providence and East Carolina. Virginia has won 22 straight games here at John Paul Jones Arena. That is the sixth longest home win streak in Division I. Now, Virginia's defense has had a few great stretches during the first three games of the season. All Wahoo wins. The Cavaliers have held two of their first three opponents to below 40 points. The Wahoo defense ranks number one in the nation, holding its opponent to an average of just 40 points per game. Mamadi Diakite had four blocks in Virginia's 24-point win over Yale Sunday. And the Hoos will need him to play key minutes this season with big man Austin Nichols kicked off the team. The team needed me to, to come up, to step up and block more shots, like many, a lot of shots. So that's what I did. I mean, I'm, it's more exciting to, to me to, to block people better than scoring. Scoring, that, that, comes, that comes along with the time, you know. Yeah, I think some habits are still being formed. Um, they're, they're smart players. 
Um, and I think, you know, we have to be so good positionally. And, and sometimes the, the young guys don't understand how I say this a lot, how continuous they have to be. The ball moves bang. They got to be in the next spot. They got to be down. They got to be ready. For the most part, they've, I think, done a good job. In other sports news today, former University of Virginia men's soccer coach Bruce Arena has been named the new head coach of the U.S. national men's soccer team. And this is Arena's second stint with Team USA. He coached the U.S. team for eight years from 1998 to 1996 and is the winningest coach in American national team history. Before that, you may remember, Arena coached for 18 seasons at Virginia, leading the Hoos to five national championships. And Arena, he replaces Jorgen Klinsmann with Team USA, who was fired yesterday after the U.S. went 0-2 in the final round of World Cup qualifying. Football now. The JMU Dukes are the four seed for the FCS playoffs and have a first round of in the first round bye in the first round of the playoffs. Let me tell you, they went 10 and 1 this season. The Dukes did and were uh, recognized today as Coach Mike Houston was named the CAA Coach of the Year, leading the Dukes to a perfect 8-0 record in the conference. Quarterback Brian Shore was named the CAA Offensive Player of the Year. He led the country in completion percentage and led the CAA in total touchdowns with 27. Rashard Davis was voted the CAA Specialist of the Year. The former Charlottesville High School star led the nation with three punt returns for touchdowns. That tied the CAA and JMU single season record. The Dukes have really played well for first year head coach Mike Houston. The maturity, the experience of our roster allows them to really buy into what you're talking about, and they did buy into it, to where you've got a group that's all on the same page. And really, that's the biggest, that's the biggest plus that we have. Back here live at John Paul Jones Arena, where Virginia and Grambling will tip off tonight at 7 o'clock. You can watch the game on Comcast Sportsnet. I will have highlights of post-game reaction for you tonight at 10 and 11. That's all for now. NBC 29 News at 6 continues after this. Don't accept less than everything you deserve. <laughs>